Dirk Banks, also known as Little Dirk, is a superstar rapper from the south side of Chicago. Dirk has been rapping for over 10 years now and deserves all the recognition he has. But Dirk has been through a lot in his life, took on obstacles that most people couldn't handle. Dirk was 100% involved in the streets, which caused him to lose a lot of people that was close to him. The internet would troll and say he was a curse and that people surrounded by him would end up being killed. Or if they wasn't saying that, they would say Dirk sacrificed his close friends. Dirk was losing people for years now, before the rap and even while rapping. But one day while Dirk and his cousin Nooski was shopping, some guys would approach Dirk's car while Dirk was in the store. But unfortunately, Nooski was still in the car. The gunman would let off shots on Nooski. He would try to get away in the car, but he didn't get too far. Nooski would run the car into a store and would be pronounced dead on the scene. That's the only way. That's the only way. You're right. This shit happen all the time. Man. Drex. follow that, sir. You the one wanted to go to the bank on 82nd. Shit, we better off on 82nd. Stay there. So they could have been. I don't like this. I could have been up here with my kids in a fucking children's place or something. I know. Nooski was signed to OTF and wanted better for his life. When Dirk's ops heard the news, they didn't waste no time to diss. And that took a huge toll on Dirk. Big Nooski. Like, this person's back. How oh, that's not going too far. I never understood that shit. Like, I'm smoking on this nigga pack. Smoking on Tuka pack. What about we smoke on Nooski pack? I mean, Nooski. They left his ass right here. You feel me? They left his ass up here on folks now tweak. Buy some shoes. Y'all see, y'all see real niggas be up here though. Nigga play with me up here on folks in this bills when bitch on the news. I look like Nooski. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. I'm with the nigga that did. He don't want to be on camera though. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. People have respect for Nooski, just as well as having love for him. Dirk was lost without Nooski. Dirk signed a deal two days before his death. So Dirk really didn't have the chance to celebrate with him. Little Dirk couldn't catch a break though. Cause one year later, Dirk would lose another person close to him. His manager, OTF Chino. Dirk said Chino died 10 minutes after being on FaceTime with him. How long ago did you talk to him? Like how, before it actually happened? Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 10. You were just on the phone with him and then, then he get, he gets killed 10 minutes later. He was like, we gonna, we gonna, he told me, um, finish up the album and the song called Why Me. He told me just redo, redo it because the label on my ass, redo it for the label on my ass. I'm like, I got you, I got you. Yeah, because he was in the house laying down because I was on FaceTime with him. He was in the house laying down. Then he called, like, his girl called 10 minutes later. Then once Chino died, it was a lot more dissing going on. Hey! Y'all got that order for Nooski? Chino Burger. Chino Burger. Yeah. Y'all got it? Hey, Ray? Oh, thank you. Oh, Bill. What's up? Y'all with that OTLK shit? Oh, man. Hey, this motherfucker focused his hell, man. Y'all, this shit ain't done, man. Y'all done put this shit back on the grill, man. This shit disgusting, man. Get this shit together, man. For real, this shit bogus as hell, man. You bring up your little crazy thing when you need your shit. Some motherfuckers remember what you did. Huh? Just like me a piece. Yeah, Chino Burger. That's what they said. Uh, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. No, my son, I just said Chino Burger. Damn. Was that Buddha? Dirk wasn't a saint himself, though. He would diss the dad as well. Chicago was getting real crazy at that time of the drill era. So he would let his pain turn into disrespect. Oh, 
bomb. And the bulletproof and go buy some toka, you hear me? Hey, young niggas stay focused. But I really don't wanna crash. Think about where you at. Then think about the bulletproof smoke a toka. Hey, hey, this bus stop right here though, this, this, this is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place, B. Hey, this bus stop, this is a real famous place, B. I ain't gonna laugh at you, you know what I'm saying? Free my nigga team. You gotta focus, man, gay. Dirk was getting numb to the suffering he endured in the field. From seeing his cousin die, losing his manager, and even other close friends, such as Tayski and Pluto, that wasn't the end, because November 6, 2020, King Von would be shot and killed. A rapper King Von and his group were at Opium Nightclub before making their way here to Monaco Hookah Lounge, then to the parking lot where chaos ensued. It hurt us. It hurt us a lot. I cried. Some some of my friends cried. He, he, he had a big influence on us. A really big influence. 26-year-old Devon Bennett, also known as rapper King Von. He won't be back on the streets, he old. Everyone that he let, they gonna be gone. Shot and killed after a deadly fight erupted in front of Monaco Hookah Lounge. Two men approached King Von and his group in the parking lot, and an argument ensued. The argument quickly escalating to a shootout between the two groups. Rapper Maximilian says he was there when it all went down. King Von was one of Dirk's best friends. They had a good run. Dirk put Von in position to be a superstar. They was always together, the iconic duo. Von had the potential to be one of the best in this hip hop era. But some people wanted Dirk to feel away, so they would diss King Von. Got me blown. Cause we been ready. On six, so we been ready to put a, yeah, another nigga, yeah, under, yeah. Oh, hey, God. Hey, jump out, shake. Dirty clip on me, jump out, shake. Man, that shit got me blown. Cause. Oh, God, I already knew what was going on with you. Mm, Look how happy he is. Look, look at this dead nigga on his shirt. Look. Look. Look at this dead nigga on his shirt. Look. Yo, you think King Von thirsty? I think King Von thirsty. Look. Yo, drink that. I'm going to pee on you, nigga. Look. Look. These niggas be sacrificing their mans. Look. Look. If a nigga kill ain't dead, we ain't wearing no RP shirts. In this point of time, Dirk is very successful. But is he really a curse? I'll leave that up to y'all to decide that.